Thank you to Game Work Create for being a channel partner. Looking for a Kickstarter game you missed or 3D printed minis? Game Work Create has a huge selection available, all at a fair price. Use the link in the description below to check out all that Game Work Create has to offer. What's up, Rockstars? Today, I finally have the pleasure of unboxing some very, very fancy resin miniatures. Cannot wait to see what's inside here. Let's go and find out together. Alright, you'll have to excuse me for the knife, but I don't have my exacto with me. I don't want to get up. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, as always, thank you to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that I'm able to run this channel. And I do actually mean that uh, from the camera you guys are watching to the table I'm at right now to the lighting I have to the audio I have to the fact that I am able to say anything I want about any game company and not fear repercussion because I'm not actually taking any money from any of them. That way you get my honest opinion, and not my wallet's opinion. That is because of my patrons and YouTube members. So thank you so much for your support. I really, really do mean it. Um, with that said, if you do want to join them and maybe join a, a fun Discord where we share miniature paintings and board game discussion and music discussion and sell our games and do all... I mean, we are thousands of messages every day. They can all test it. It gets a little crazy there, too. But uh, Or my weekly audio update that I do there. I do that. Or a show some work in progress or behind the scenes stuff or talk about it or link to it or you know do whatever uh there is a link down below to that of course and if you don't want to do that that's fine i understand trust me i do uh just a like a subscribe a comment saying uh thanks for the video or anything like that helps a lot it helps me know that i'm doing right because i make these videos for you so hopefully you can appreciate that all right i think i got it <laughs> enough maybe all right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So as you can see here is Limbo Minis. And while I went in with black with some uh, some label on there, the last one was uh, not black. It was plain cardboard with a picture kind of glued on there. So I do like seeing the kind of fancier box, though it is harder to know what's in each one. I'll do a top-down view of the final miniatures so you'll be able to see that here in a little bit. I'll at least build a few of them for you. But for now, we'll just get them all out and see what we got here. Octavia looks fantastic, so I'm excited to see her. I'm excited. And then we got more and more and more. And what is this? I don't even know what's up. Hmm, here's Odin. Let's see, and then we got Restoria. Again, we got a whole bunch here. A lot. I like that the boxes are smaller too. I've noticed that. That's kind of appreciative, actually. But we got some other stuff in here I'm not so sure about. Rodrigo. What is this? This, this is fun. I don't even know what this is. Ah, ah, this is the, the, uh, I remember now. The, the Kickstarter unlocks. Oh, I'm excited. All right, come on. Stupid tape. All right, so we have, oh my gosh. There's Noble Bear versus a Corona Bat. And then we have in here, actually nicely packaged. Actually quite surprised by that. Let's see if there's a good opening here. It's so loud. Alright. And inside of here we have a little little puck. A dropper bottle with a giant ball bearing in there. That's crazy big. And we have a terrible kid stuff brush. I actually like the handle of this because it gets fatter. My wife will probably steal that. <laughs> and then we actually have a wet palette. So we have here some sponges. Very thick sponges, by the way. That's kind of interesting. And then some paper. And then, of course, a clasp to close it all in. So... Cool, I'll try all this stuff out and uh, get you at the other camera angle. All right, so now I have actually built all of the minis here and I wanted to kind of show them off and talk about, uh, I guess these minis, but also resin kind of garage kits in general. Uh, so I, the, the first thing is that they look great, all right? I mean, like the, the resin quality is really good. This is definitely the biggest one here and it's, it's huge as you can see. 
um, looks fantastic. I actually have the uh, just have some putty in here so I can take this off. One of the nice things about building your minis is you can you know glue what you want glued on so I can actually paint underneath here and touch it up a little bit. You see there's maybe a little bit of misalignment but for the most part this actually went on quite great. The head was all one piece if you recall. That ended up going on pretty good. This was a really good build actually. This one went quite nice with the only thing being is I'm not sure I'll actually get these super flush um, to where I might have to put some like texture paint in there to really kind of get them flush. I'll see. I'll see how it is without the putty obviously but looks great obviously and even the bottom right required some touch up or whatever but it's fairly fairly flat now there's a little bit of a wobble there and that's just uh part of the course sometimes these don't necessarily always go super straight there's not really a whole lot you could do you could try some sanding but uh, that, that can be kind of uh difficult anyway looks great a fantastic mini uh i was always excited about this the sculpt design was there so as long as the resin's there then we're good and it definitely is and i think it went together quite nice the seams aren't too bad um anytime you get half of a furry animal like that you, you worry but i think once that's primed and maybe even a tiny bit of gap fill i use vallejo's putty it, you can paint it on with a brush just get it watery put it on a brush and you can paint it on it'll blend right in same with the tail here it'll look great so i'm not concerned about that at all this is maybe slightly bendy um but actually not too bad i didn't even have to do a hot water treatment on this but it's a little as you can see for a resin, this is a very, very bendy resin, and that's really in general. I'll show that kind of throughout it, but, um, you know, uh, plastics, you know, we say PVC and ABS and resin, but there's there's thousands of different kinds of plastic, and they all have fancy chemical names that I can't pronounce or even care to know, um, but they do. Each each manufacturer is a little bit different. Use a little bit different of a resin. Here is another one. This is my favorite mini besides the wolf, which wins by default. Um, I just really like the kind of the spear flag thing. This was actually broken off. I had to glue that on. One nice thing about resin is that when it breaks, it breaks very clean. So when you glue it back on, you won't even know, uh, which is kind of nice. That being said, I've already fixed this through hot water twice. And I've even tried to, do, I mean, it's just, it, the resin is so bendy. I mean, it's insane. Look, look how it's insanely bendy, which means they're actually quite robust but they don't hold the shape of skinny parts like this, like a normal resin piece would, where this would be very brittle and could break easily, but would be very straight. Um, you you kind of want a little bit of both, and I think they went a little heavy on the bendy part, which can make it kind of kind of curve like that. So I'll keep trying that. It's a, enough TLC, and I think I can get that straightened, but otherwise, this was kind of interesting. This is a very heavy piece. It's very solid. It's the thickest part of the mini, pretty much. Like, it's it's thicker than this, right? which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they made it necessarily so thick, but they did. But it has some good connection points here, so it connected quite well uh, to where it's actually pretty pretty secure. I'm pretty okay with it. Um, and again, these are display pieces anyway. Um, sits nice though, uh, so looks good. And uh, I'm excited to actually paint her. I think she's gonna look great. Uh, was actually kind of surprised a little bit. Uh, the eyes, uh, I was expecting maybe some eyelashes, but I don't think there's any eyelashes on this face. I think it's just kind of an eye socket and a brow. Uh, that being said, lips look good. Top and bottom lip is there. Even the kind of the um, ridges on the upper lip there and the uh, obviously the nose and everything. So looks good though. I like it. Um, and I think the seam lines were pretty, pretty good. Uh, again, I, I might feel I'm not the best assembler. So that's probably a blanket statement on all of this, but uh, here is the mini. I really like this mini, though. It's probably the first one that I have an issue with. It's also very bright. Hopefully that looks good on the screen. I'll try some post-editing, uh, if I can, on some of these brighter minis. There's two, three more uh, like this, so we'll see. Um, this ridge right here on his, uh, on his weapon, very, very skinny to where it was already chipping when I got it out of the bag, and it just keeps chipping. It's very, extremely thin. Um, to where you could just break off little pieces like a chip, like a potato chip. Um, it would have been nice to have that a little bit thicker, just so, we, or, and you know, we get maybe a, I don't know, um, a different kind of resin, I guess, one or the other. Anyway, he fit together well. I like him. I think he looks great. There's some oddity here in the chain mail. Don't know if that was supposed to be up here and there was a miscast or what, but um, it, it, it's fine to have armor not be perfect anyway, though he looks quite good. He's got some great textures. He's got the fur, then he has this kind of studded pad, and then he has this kind of leather straps, and he has this like mail plate stuff here, and then he also has uh, 
um, you know, like like hit, hit just his skin. So a, a multitude of textures, which is great. And he, honestly, he went together quite well. He fit together. Everything looked like it went good. Got some putty here still. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this this went together quite well. So really happy with this one. I um, think he looks awesome. Uh, we're I'm going to end on some good notes. So let me look at two of the issues I had. Um, one of them was this. So first of all, again, they have no instructions and the only pictures you see are pictures like this right now I, and he came with a flat base like a flat piece with two circles in it you saw that in the unboxing i have no god only knows what that's for i don't know if it's for underneath this but i don't know what the two holes are then for and this is looks like it's sculpted but it's also kind of weird i mean it's fine but it is a little wobbly maybe that's what that flat base was for but then why it had two holes in it i, I don't i don't know i don't know okay no instructions you'll notice here though that uh and I, I checked the box again i checked where i put the pieces i could not find it but i'm missing a piece of the um uh handle i think so looking back on it there's a little notch here for the sword to go into right where he's jabbing in there which is which is fine looking at the pictures the handlebar is around the waist which if the this was any longer the handlebars would be a little bit lower though maybe maybe it's that much lower and i just can't quite tell in the pictures they have but either way i have a guy who has the sword not in the stone <laughs> uh, which is kind of unfortunate um and again it's just you know maybe again that piece just broken is gone forever i i, I don't know it, it didn't seem like it was in the box um her her tip here was loose in the box as well, out of a bag and everything. I wonder if something similar happened to that and it just wedged itself out because it's so tiny. Um, so otherwise, uh, he actually went together quite easily. Um, not too bad at all. He might have a little bit more of a gap than I would like there, but it's on the bottom, so it doesn't really matter. And his legs went together pretty good, except um, this is in the slot. And this is flush, about as flush as I can get it. Um, but there's a little bit of the gap there for where this foot should go into. It wasn't quite lined up well. I'll have to fill that in. Um, again, uh, I've put together so many of these resin pieces to where a lot of them, I, I, you come across various issues. Sometimes it's just it's just hard. They're definitely complex uh, undertakings, that's for sure. Uh, by the way, I don't even store them like that because I'm afraid he's going to break, so I always lay him down like that <laughs> when I store them right now. Okay, um, so, you know, I, I'm used to some issues, um, and, and a missing piece, though, is kind of unfortunate, but... Um, this is the worst mini I had by far. The rest, I have three more to show. I all actually really enjoyed uh, one issue and one of them, but this one, I almost stopped building entirely. I, I, I couldn't stand this. As you can see, she's still leaning. Um, I would have had to, I think, customs. You can see the gap here, by the way. It's massive. I wanted to fill that in. Same with here. I've tried to do it with some super glue just to keep it kind of secure. There's a little gap here. Um, and this has been pulled a little bit, but uh, there's the problem is is if if she is actually straight up, then this isn't long enough again to connect it there that I could tell. I even tried turning her a little bit because hope, and then this isn't a great connection either, as as you can see here. Um, but then it's like this is down here and her arms up here, right? If you turn that, this keeps going up and it's like right here. So it's like way too high. So it's either, you either have a gap here or a gap here. So I kind of had to like lean her in. I don't know. I tried and tried and tried. I spent at least an hour building this mini. I kid you not. It was so difficult. And of course, both these legs are like loose. So it's like, I can glue this in the rock, right? I know that's there. There's actually a little piece here that, um, uh, fits fairly nice but as you can see i ended up moving it to try and get it some semblance of a human form in here um great design of a mini for sure love the detail work here um love pretty much everything about it uh they kind of i love half capes just in general i think that's cool um but my goodness this was the hardest resin miniature i've ever built in my entire life by far um if i took the difficulty of every this made the Phoenix from Kingdom Death Monster seem like a breeze. And that one didn't even list the right hands for places. Okay, let's go ahead and go to nice now for a little bit. So she built beautifully. Very, very cleanly. Very nice. Uh, everything is fine. I did notice they changed the staff in the painted one. This is a skull with a spine. But I think they didn't want to repeat that. That was already done with uh, one of the Necromancers and Eternal War. So I can understand the change. If that's why. If it's not, I don't care. I still think it's a good change. But no, she, she looks great. These are a little hard 
to to glue in especially this one didn't want to harden i suck at gluing though in general i've tried the baking soda tactic with super it just never works i never i never have to i just end up with powder everywhere i don't know I, I in general i just kind of suck you guys know that but um i'm excited to paint this one too this one looks great i love the kind of tribal tusk things here these skulls look fantastic um it's great that as you can see she's actually floating which i like a small little touch there you might not even notice at first but very much the magical person this whole thing is glued down so she's still quite secure uh which i'm happy uh to say and otherwise she's mostly kind of a single sculpt which was also quite nice it went together really really well so really like that i don't know if you noticed or not but i've had more luck with the gray than the the yellow and i don't know again why the difference oftentimes it's the same plastic and they just change the color on it but why some or some i don't know uh he went together great except for one thing um so right here you can see i actually had to and i'll actually come up here a little bit just to show you there you go. You can see right here i actually had to trim that down uh it was impossible to have this slotted where it needed to go it has a little notch in here that you can tell it goes there you can glue it there before even him right but then you put him on there and his leg is too i got like cat hair going everywhere his leg is too fat here as you can see it's already making contact with the trim this if you actually slotted him down where he's supposed to go which is where he's at now it would pop this out every single time there was nothing i could do about it i could i tried to like wedge him like maybe like put them together at the same time maybe put him and then the hammer i'm gonna put the hammer and then him i tried again everything ended up having to just trim that right there but you trim that looks great looks fine otherwise i'm okay with that actually that'll look great painted overall i was quite happy with this one again the the detail the texture all of that is fantastic you guys already knew that going into it and again look this is also a different color right <laughs> again i don't know why i get a kick out of that um this was another one again great build it went together perfectly fine um I, I, at first i was kind of confused a little bit about how her head went on but then i, I was like oh, okay it, it connects actually right here again you can't even really tell right that's the whole point um then the cape over here it did actually transfer quite well uh between the fur and non-fur but uh yeah and, and as you can see like the whole you know way over here right like it just it, and it's solid too like it's it's good really good arm fit on quite good this was nice and straight even her sword is quite straight that actually ended up quite good as well facial features look good the only bummer about this is as you can see this whole base is bent right so it's it's a little wobbly and there's not a whole lot i could do i could try to sand the middle out a little bit but yeah as you can see just just a, a bent base not really much i can do about that um but when it's on display you know, nobody cares anyway and it's a great looking model so uh yeah i really enjoyed these actually now i got a little frustrated with some of the building um easy to frustrate though in general you guys know that and uh, i mean they look as you can see i mean they look great they build up good they got a nice nice perfect kind of size if you get too much bigger than this uh it actually can cause other problems with painting than painting small this is kind of the sweet spot for me i think i really like that maybe even this um, again, you get small enough, but then not too small, <laughs> right? Anyway, uh, that's it. That's that's the, the minis here. We will be going into the uh, Eternal War 1.2 or 1.5, or I don't know what it'll be, what they'll call it, the next campaign. I'll, I'll let you guys know about that. I'm actually planning on chatting with them a little bit about the campaign, so hopefully we... I can I can help a little bit out, uh, not actively, but just in, in the con concept design phase when it comes to structure of a Kickstarter. So we'll see what I can do. I don't know. They don't even have to listen to me, but and maybe we won't even have that meeting. I don't know. Either way, I really dig these. These look cool. Um, just if, if you bought this one, my condolences. <laughs> that one's rough. Uh, otherwise, again, it, 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 it's, it went pretty, pretty okay. All right, that's it. That's all. Just wanted to show that to you. Have a great day, guys.